Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Beard. I'm Jason Fox, aka Lee Cloud's Beard, and today we are discussing the tweet. Conflict arises from passion or ignorance. The former can be fruitful, the latter diffused. Combined. Paralyzing. Passion is great. We do not want dispassionate people. We do not want lumps, lumps, bumps on logs sitting around doing nothing because they are apathetic and do not care. However, we often confuse passion with wisdom. We assume someone who is super passionate about something knows what they are doing. This is a fallacy. We expect people who are coming out of school, who often are the most passionate among us, to inherently know a lot about the industry and the jobs with which they are tasked. That is unfair. It is also often incorrect. Hopefully they did learn a fair amount in school. That does not mean they are wholly and completely prepared for the task we are giving them to do. So combine their ignorance with their passion and suddenly you have a lot of people running around espousing some very bad ideas. This is not limited to the youth, by the way, for from it, just look at politicians in general uh, for proof of that statement. But it is easy to follow passionate people. Passionate people tend to draw a following just because they're passionate and can make things sound good. Those of us who are passionate on the inside do not tend to draw as many people to us. That is okay. Some of you really creep me out. But ignorance can be solved. It can be diffused, as I said in this tweet, by teaching people, which is why we need actual training to take place within the agency walls, instead of assuming people can learn by just going along and doing their job, or picking up tips on social media, or following people on LinkedIn. You can learn that way. It will be sporadic at best, and very spotty and detrimental at worst. So. Teach people well, and hopefully the passionate people then become smart people, and then all involved are happy at last. I'm Jason Fox. Have a good one.